So in the same program, I'll show you the, I already told you destructor will be the last one to get executed. Now we'll see this with an example. Here we have created, uh, we have uh, created the object and initialized the object using the constructor. So this will be called any, at any time, this will be called as the first one. Then uh, this destructor will be the last one to be executed. Now, we have returned an echo statement where we have uh, printed the value. So for example, author name. Okay, so this prints the author name. So after this one day, this echo statement will be printed. We'll see that now. See here. First, it will print this author name. That is for given here. So this will be printed. Then only this destructor will be called. That is why you are able to see the destructor output later. So after this, it will be uh, the destructor will destroy the variable, very well variables, local variables as well as the object itself will be destroyed. 